You may be seated at this time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to AP Baldwin Gymnasium and the 2017 commencement exercises. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the class of 2017. <laughs> Seniors, this is a very special time for you, but it's not only a very special time for you, it's a very special time for your parents and your grandparents as well. I want to thank all the parents and all the grandparents of this senior class who have been here for us for the last five years. We truly appreciate all of your help. And at this time, I'm going to ask all the parents, grandparents, or any great-grandparents if you would please stand. Thank you. The foundation of a great school is our faculty and support staff. And I am very proud to say that I think that I had the best here at Honeaker High School. At this time, I'm going to ask all of our faculty and our support personnel to please stand to be recognized. There's three of our faculty members that are going to be retiring this year, and I'd like to recognize those individually at this time. First of all, we have Mr. William Mutt. Mr. Mutt, if you'll please stand. <laughs> Ms. Patsy McLaughlin. Patsy. <laughs> and Ms. Allison Steele. Ms. Steele. I would have to say that these three individuals have truly supported not only our school, but every kid that's went through our school system. So we are so happy for them and we hope that they enjoy their retirement. I would also like to recognize our junior ushers for this evening. These ushers are the top academic students in the junior class. First of all, we have Mr. Brandon Sample. Brandon. <laughs> Ms. Jody Lee Bailey. Jody Lee. Janessa Harris, <laughs> Katrina Harris, <laughs> Courtney Woodard, <laughs> and Miss Hannah Ball. <laughs> we are also honored to have members of the Russell County School Board with us this evening. First of all, we have our chairman, Mr. Donnie Ramey. <laughs> our vice chairman, Miss Cynthia Compton. Board member, Ms. Linda Garrett. Mr. Char Charlie Collins. Mr. Wayne Bostick. Mr. Jeff Cook. And Mr. Alex Akwija. We are very honored to have with us our new superintendent of Russell County Schools with us this evening, Dr. Gregory Brown. Dr. Brown. And our assistant superintendent, Mr. Scotty Fletcher. Principals and assistant principals from other schools. I think we have Mr. Greg Mullins with us this evening. Mr. Mullins. Ms. Jennifer Eaton, Ms. Eaton. I'm sure she's there somewhere. Ms. Georgia McCoy. Mr. Seth Jent. Ms. Christy Bowman. And from the Russell County Alternative School, Mr. Mike Robertson. We are very honored to also have uh, with us tonight members from the Russell County Board of Supervisors, our chairman, Mr. Steve Breeding, <laughs> Mr. David Eaton, vice chair, <laughs> Mr. Carl Ray, 
And we also have with, with us our county administrator, Mr. Lonzo Lester. We are very honored also to have with us the Sheriff of Russell County, Mr. Steve Dye. Mr. Dye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I'm going to ask one of our seniors, Miss Drew Ann Harris, to please come forward. Drew Ann is this year's senior class president. And she is also the fellowship of Christian Students President. Drew Ann. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you today humbly in your presence, God. God, I want to thank you, first of all, for sending your Son to die on the cross for all of us, Lord. We know we don't deserve it, but we are ever more thankful that you make your mercy and your grace abundant to us. Father, I thank you for the day, God. I thank you for this wonderful season in each of our lives. Father, it is a time of celebration, and we thank you for allowing us to complete something worth celebrating. Lord, we know that it's through you and only you that we have had the ability to complete the task at hand. Lord, I thank you for these students and what they've meant to not only me, but everyone around them. This is truly a special group of individuals, and God, you're to thank for that. I thank you for the teachers, guidance counselors, administration, staff, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, neighbors, friends, strangers, and anyone else that you may have placed in our path to mold us into the people we are. Father, as we go throughout the next step of our lives, I pray that you guide us, Lord. Keep your hand of protection over us and keep us safe to stay in your will, Lord. Lord, instead of chasing fame or money, I pray that you give us the strength to chase you with everything in us. Lord, we love you and thank you. In your son's name, amen. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Bush, for giving me this opportunity to speak today. I am 100% certain that you will regret it. <laughs> My name is Duran Harris, and I have served as the president of Class 2017 for five years now. And wow, guys, what an honor. One thing I can say for sure is that I am definitely graduating with the prettiest senior class. Look at all y'all sitting there all done up, smiling from ear to ear. I'm so proud to be graduating with such a spectacular group of individuals. As most of you know from Christian and I doing morning announcements throughout the year, I'm a big fan of quotes and hearing the profound words of individuals throughout human history on planet Earth. With this in mind, I'd like to begin with a quote from rapper, scholar, and philosopher Nicki Minaj. In a song she sings, which ironically happens to be entitled High School, she sings a line which says, Baby, it's your world, ain't it? Perhaps using the word ain't at a celebration of education is slightly inappropriate, but that is my theme today. Babies, it's your world. I am a firm believer that life is like a really good sandwich. It's all in how you make it. So let's fill it with good stuff. Let's fill it with love and compassion, integrity, character, kindness, joy, and all the other key factors that ultimately lead to success. And since this is your sandwich, your life, and your world, fill it with your dreams, goals, and plans, and add some hard work to make it all happen. Here at Honeaker High School, we've been blessed with the faculty and staff that haven't taught us what to think, but how to think, and I thank them for that. They've encouraged us to dream big and not give up on those dreams, and they provided a solid education base for us to begin to build our lives off of. We know from our time here that we can achieve any goal that our mind can conceive. We just must be willing to work hard. So classmates, that's what I'm encouraging you to do today. I know you all have goals that you want to achieve, and I am pleading with you. Do not stop hustling with all you have in you until you have fulfilled those goals. I know you can do it because throughout my time here, you all have proved it. Band members, I know sometimes you stay here past dark, working tirelessly to perfect a new beautiful song or routine for us all to enjoy during a Friday night football game. Athletes, I know the hours upon hours spent in a gym or on a field to get stronger, faster, and better to excel in your sport. Club people, I know you spend lots of time organizing events, promoting service projects, and preparing for competitions in order to represent our school well throughout our community, our state, and now even our nation. I know you all that took classes at the trade school spent months and years of your time and worked very hard to perfect your craft. And students all together, I know you work hard at both school and home to keep those grades up. I want you to know that this day is about all of you. 
Today is a day to honor and celebrate those achievements that you've worked so hard for the past five years at Honegger High School. This is such a talented class, and again, I'm so proud to say that I'm graduating with such an outstanding group of people. But your achievements don't stop here, because they can't stop here. Take a look at the world around you. The world needs people like you. People who are going to continue going out of their way and working hard to make this world more awesome. When I look at you all, I see so much potential. I look at you all and I see doctors, actors, politicians, professional athletes, astronauts, explorers, journalists, CEOs, musicians, teachers, and the list could go on forever. Whatever it is you do, God is going to give you a platform throughout the span of your life. So don't waste it. Use it to influence people. Influence them positively with your wisdom, kindness, character, and compassion. The world is already more awesome just because you're in it. You add something to every room that you enter in. In this next step of your life, you're going to enter some new rooms, and they need you. There are people out there who have given up on their dreams, and they need you. There are sad people out there, and they need you. This world needs people like you to continue to make it a brighter place. People who dare, dream, and work hard. This life is what you make of it, so let's do what we can to make it more beautiful for everyone. To quote Kid President, the world needs you. You, 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 and you. You've got life ahead of you, so go live it. Don't let the possibility of failure let you shy away from whatever it is that God has called you to do. The 26th president of our great nation, Teddy Roosevelt, once said, far better is it to dare to do mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy or suffer much, because they live in the gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. Friends, I am begging you, shoot for the stars. Everyone in this room has the potential to achieve great things. And if you stumble in failure, that's okay. Because if at first you don't succeed, you're normal. Micah 7.8 says, Do not gloat over me, my enemy, because though I have fallen, I will rise. Dare to do mighty things. Think about our country daring to put a man on the moon, passionate people daring to peacefully protest during the civil rights movement, or even when our founding fathers dared to declare their independence from Britain. Success has always belonged to those who dare and dream. Guys, it's been a privilege growing up with you all, and I truly mean it when I say that I love each of you, and I want nothing but the best for you and all of your futures. The thought I want to leave you with today is don't shy away from using the many talents that God has given you. If you don't dare, you'll just be another smart kid. The world out there needs you to put your passions and your uniqueness to work and make our planet a little or a lot brighter. Whether you want to be a welder, a chef, an entrepreneur, a diplomat, or the person who puts stickers on fruit, go after it with all your might. You can make it happen, so do it. Because babies, it's your world, ain't it? Thank you. Thank you, Drew Ann. At this time, I'm going to recognize the top 10 academic students in the class of 2017. When I call your name, if you would come forward and stand up here, Miss Steele is going to give you a top 10 medal. Number 10. Number 10 is Miss Kiana Hope Roman. Kiana is the daughter of Michael and Barbara Roman. Kiana plans to get her degree in elementary education and pursue her teaching degree. Number nine, Ms. Kaylin Rowe. <laughs> Kaylin is the daughter of Willis and Lisa Rowe. She plans on attending Radford University and pursuing a degree in music. Number seven. Number seven is Lauren Elizabeth Hurt. Lauren is the daughter of Jim and Kim Hurt. She will be attending Virginia Tech and majoring in university studies until she decides a career path. Ms. Lauren Hurt. Also tied for number seven is Anthony Mason Phillips.
Mason is the son of Mark and Hazel Phillips. He plans on attending Southwest Virginia Community College and transferring to Emory and Henry to pursue a degree in physical therapy. Mason Phillips. Number six is Alyssa Brooke Dye. <laughs> Alyssa is the daughter of David and Teresa Dye. Alyssa will be attending James Madison University on a full tuition paid centennial scholarship. <laughs> Number five is Hunter Blake Eaton. Hunter is the son of Jim and Jennifer Eaton. Hunter plans on attending Southwest Virginia Community Co College and studying pre-med. Hunter Eaton. Number four is Miss Drew Ann Harris. Drew Ann is the daughter of Thomas and Kim Harris. She plans on attending Appalachia State University and studying photojournalism and environmental science. Miss Drew Ann Harris. This year was very unique in the fact that we actually had two students who were tied for salutatorium. And I'm proud to say, and I'm proud to introduce those two students First is Miss Keisha Dawn Hill. And the other student is Mr. Joshua Caleb Perkins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your top nine of the class of 2017. At this time, I'm going to ask the top nine to please be seated, except for Keisha, if you will stay and give your salutatorian speech, and we'll let uh, Josh go after you get through. I'm sorry, Keisha. Keisha is the daughter of Terry Hill and April Hill. She's also been a member of the Future Business Leaders of America for five years, and she's held the Office of Secretary for the past two years. She's placed in regional FBLA competition for the past five years and attended the FBLA State Leadership Conference for the past four. She's on the Student Council Association, serving as parliamentarian, She's participated in the Beta Club, the French Club, and was a member of the Journalism Club, in which she served as the editor of the 2016 yearbook. She served as senior class vice president and is elected as an officer every year since the ninth grade. She's received numerous first and second place awards for being the top student in her class. She played varsity soccer her senior year. She plans on attending Southwest Virginia Community College in the fall and transferring to a four-year university. She plans to pursue a degree in either wildlife, biology, or film production. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of Honecker High School's 2017 co-salutatorian, Ms. Keisha Dawn Hill. Good evening, everyone. I would like to say that when I found out that I was one of the two salutatorians, I didn't know what I was going to say. And however, it's a couple of days later, and here I am, and it's kind of hot, so I'll try to keep it short and simple. I would like to thank, I would like to start by saying thank you to all the faculty and staff at Honecker High. You all have truly impacted each of our lives. You inspired us to achieve more than we thought we could. You allowed us to see that there was more that we could be. 
You provided us with an excellent educational foundation that will benefit us for the rest of our lives. You prepared us for our futures, whether it be work or college. For that, we'll always be grateful. I also want to say thanks to my family, especially to my parents. You encouraged me when I was nervous. You picked me up when I was down. Both of you made me the person I am today, and I couldn't thank you enough for that. You are the reason I'm standing here today. So thank you. I love you all. As for you, the class of 2017, most of you know that school has been a major part of my life. It's what I've done from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed. And it is during these times that you all have given me unforgettable memories that I want to thank you all for. They are some of the little sayings that may seem unimportant, but I'll never forget them. Like when Alicia almost broke her toe during the bus evacuation in eighth grade, or our failed attempt at a homecoming shirt the next year, or when we won first place for a homecoming tent every year. It's these things and everything else that combine to give me some of the best memories of my life. I'll always be appreciative that I was able to be a part of this class in Honecker High School. So thank you everyone, and I hope that your futures are filled with success and happiness in whatever you do. At this time, I'm going to ask our other co-salutatorian, Mr. Joshua Caleb Perkins, if Caleb would come forward, please. <laughs> Caleb and son, Dwayne and Christy Perkins, he was captain of the 2016-17 varsity scholastic bowl team, which has claimed two back-to-back -back state titles for 2015-16 and 16-17. <laughs> He has held an office in the 11th and 12th grade in the Fellowship of Christian Students. He's been a reporter for the Beta Club, the Spanish Club, co-president his senior year. And he's also served on the Student Council Association reporter for the past two years. And he was also the student reporter from Honeaker High School who went to the Russell County School Board and uh, gave news each month on what was going on at Honeaker High School. So Caleb, we'd like to thank you for doing that for Honeaker High School. Caleb has also been a member of the art club. He's received numerous awards for being first or second in each of his academic classes. He will be attending Southwest Virginia Community College in the fall to pursue a degree in education. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our co-salutatorian, Mr. Joshua Caleb Perkins. to family, friends, faculty, school board members, and most importantly, the class of 2017. Graduation day is finally upon us, a day that many of us have been waiting for our entire lives. It is time for each of us to start a new journey, one that will lead us down differing paths. Many of us may never see each other again, but we will never forget the memories we have made together. While it is time to look to the future, Graduation also provides the perfect opportunity to take a few moments to thank the ones who have helped us to become the people we are today. I would like to start off by thanking my parents for always pushing me to become the best person I can be. I love you all. And without both of you, I would be not, the, not be the man that I am today. I would also like to thank my grandparents for always listening, teaching, and patiently trying to help me. To the rest of my family, which might as well include my church family, thank you for always being so supportive and encouraging. Throughout my life, I have been blessed to have, in my opinion, some of the best teachers in the state of Virginia, and I sincerely want to thank each instructor I have had. You all are the reason that I have chosen to pursue a degree in education. One last person I would like to thank is my academic team coach, Charlie Perkins for not only pushing me to constantly achieve more, but also for seemingly always being able to ignite a fire under me when the circumstances called for it. I will always remember my time as a member of the Honecker Academic Team. Most importantly, however, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for his many blessings. I am most definitely nothing without the grace of God. When there is no one else to turn to, I will always know that I have a friend in Jesus. While there are many other people that I would like to thank, time simply does not allow me to fully express my gratitude to each and every one of you. 
but know that I'm truly thankful. Since this could very well be the last time I ever speak to some of you, I want to say a few words to my classmates. First of all, thank you for the many memories that we've had together. Many of us will soon be continuing our own paths, and becoming a success is the most common goal among us. 25 years ago, my dad stood in the same place I am today and gave his valedictory address. He had dreams, dreams that he never accomplished. He did not attend college and now lives paycheck to paycheck. Some may not deem him to be very successful. However, in my eyes, he is one of the most successful, successful people that I have ever met. He married the love of his life and eventually had three children. He is the epitome of a man of God and the life, lives a life of integrity. While he may not be overflowing in material goods, he has all that he needs. This makes him a success. So each of you sitting here today, I have one request to you. Don't get so caught up in trying to be successful that you forget what is important in life. Achievements are not the ultimate indicators of success. Faith and happiness are. Ten years from now, these two rings on my fingers, or the, the fact that I'm the co-salutatorian, will not matter. What will matter is that I'm happy, healthy, and living a life of faith. Many people are so caught up in trying to have the best house, or the best car, or the, the most money, that they forget to simply enjoy life. Money won't make you truly happy, nor will all the goods that you can buy. I ask you to experience life for what it is, and don't define whether you are a success by how much you own. Each and every one of you can achieve great accomplishments in life, but don't let the constant push for more become your God. In conclusion, I want to wish each and every one of you the best, and I do hope that you become a true success. I know you all can do it. I have the faith in you. And the final words that I want to leave with you today are in the spirit of HHS today. And the Spanish word of the day brought to you by the Spanish club is adios, which means goodbye. Outstanding speech, Caleb. You did a great job. And I think not only uh, those words are good advice for our senior class, I think it's good advice for anybody sitting in the audience tonight. At this time, I'm going to ask our very own Miss Beth Goody and Miss Melody Monk to please come forward. They have a special song they like to sing to the class of 2017.
Outstanding, outstanding. I think they could find a career in singing if they gave that teacher, but I can't afford to let them go, so I'm going to have to keep them. At this time, I want to introduce our valedictorian. This year, Honecker High School Class of 2017 valedictorian is Miss Erin Elizabeth Taylor. Erin. Karen is the daughter of Karen and Wade Taylor. Karen and Wade, if you would please stand. As an outstanding member of this year's senior class, Erin has proven to be a great role model for all of her students. Her academic success and involvement in extracurricular activities exemplify the characteristics of an outstanding leader. She's a very hardworking, caring, and a dedicated student. She has been a vice president of the Fellowship of Christian Students, a four-year letterman on the track and field team, a three-year letterman on the forensics team, a two-year letterman on the cross-country team, and a member of both the art and the beta club. Erin has also earned numerous awards for being named the top student in many of her academic classes and she has taken many of our virtual Virginia online and governor school classes. One of her written works was actually published in the Appalachian Divergent, and she participated in the Barter Theater Young Playwrights Festival. Erin plans to attend Radford University and pursue a degree in computer science and art. Erin says that it is her desire to follow God's plan for her in her life and to be happy wherever she ends up. This time, I'm honored to present to you Miss Erin Elizabeth Taylor, your 2017 valedictorian. Good evening, everyone. It's an honor to be given the opportunity to give a speech, but I'll try to keep it brief because no one wants to be inside this hot gym for longer than need be. We each have a story about how high school went for us. We've learned different lessons along the way. I would like to share my experience and the lessons I learned with you. I had always loved school from my very first day of pre-K. I loved getting on the school bus, seeing my friends each day, and learning something new. All the way to seventh grade, my love of school endured. Part of me was ready to go to high school. I thought it was gonna be just like elementary school, just on a larger scale. I understood that there would be differences like more people, more types of classes, and a bit more difficulty. But it wasn't gonna be that different, would it? The short answer is, it would. It was like an entirely new world, one that I was sadly not ready for. I was quickly overwhelmed. On that first day of high school, I had trouble navigating the hallways and finding the classes I was supposed to be in. I even had trouble opening my locker. I had to ask Phyllis Dye to help me open it multiple times that day. Overall, my first day experience was unexpected. I didn't want to go back for the second day, let alone the next five years. 
I decided that high school wasn't the thing for me. Now that statement might be a bit unanticipated, but this is where the advice part comes in. Just because I didn't like high school in general didn't mean that I couldn't be successful at it. There will be many things in life that we don't enjoy, but we still have to do them. Perhaps you will get a job that you dislike or take a required class in college that will be the bane of your existence. You have to continue to commit to these things if you want to get anywhere. Maybe you have to have that job to rent an apartment and need that class to meet the requirements for your degree. You can't do horribly at these things if you want your future goal. That's what I figured out in my first week. I had to have a high school diploma if I wanted to go to college. So I kept coming. Day after dreadful day, I came. I turned in homework, completed tests, and took exams. It was hard at first, but I did it. And believe it or not, things did get easier. I found things I enjoyed doing. I joined the track and cross country teams. I even joined the forensics team. I'm sure my eighth grade self wouldn't have believed that I found long distance running and public speaking fun. I even found classes I enjoyed, from art to after school weightlifting. I made it a point to do the things that made me happy. I didn't want the dread of high school to completely drown me, so I definitely needed bright spots in my day. During my junior year, I even dropped trig to take art. That's how dedicated I was to having something that made me happy. Thankfully, it all worked out in the end. While I was dealing with the ups and downs of high school, there were many people who were there for me, and I would like to take a moment to thank a few of them. First, I would like to thank my parents for always being there for me. No matter what I needed or when I needed it, they were there. They saw firsthand how stressed I was throughout high school and tried to help me any way they could. My mom was the one who made me keep coming back to school every day. Partly because she works in education and she wasn't about to go to truancy court for her daughter, and partly because she knew I could do it. To mom and dad, thank you. There were also a few faculty members I would like to name who were there for me during my time at Honeaker High. Lindsay Vinsel, thank you for listening to me complain about all my classes and stresses and helping me when you could. Because of you, I was able to find enjoyment in everything from FCS to forensics. Christy Honeaker, what an amazing three years of art. Whether it was helping me with an art technique or divulging life lessons and other stories to me and anyone else present during your fourth period planning, you have filled my school days with happiness. And to Suzette Mutter, you made the library a place of refuge for me. I have always liked the library, but this time, I think I like the librarian more. I would also like to thank Jared Miller for all the weightlifting classes and enthusiastic conversations. Although I didn't always look forward to your workouts, I definitely look forward to talking to you about nearly everything. Thank you to all the teachers at Honeaker High. Teachers create the foundation for a student's life, and you all have done just that. To coaches Doug Hubbard, Trevor Coleman, and David Bostick, you all have helped me so much when it came to my running. I wasn't very fast at first, but you all helped me reach my athletic goals throughout the years. I couldn't have done it without you. I would also like to extend a very large thank you to the guidance counselors here at Honeaker. Rita Honeaker and Erica Bostick have gone above and beyond to help not only myself, but all of the graduates. I especially want to thank Ms. Bostick. Ms. Bostick, there were many times where I sat in your office unsure about the next steps in my education. But by the time I left, you had restored my confidence and made sure I knew that you were rooting for me. And to all my friends, you have made these past five years unforgettable. We've done a lot together. We laughed a lot and we cried a lot. We got stressed out over exams together and even got banned from eating in the auditorium. Even though I didn't like high school, you all made it worth coming to every day. I also want to thank God for being there for me in all things. Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. There were many times in high school that I felt were impossible to overcome. But God was always with me, and he will be there for me and you for the rest of our lives. It would have been truly impossible for me to be here without him. The only things that matter in life are the things we do for the kingdom of God. Class of 2017, whether you are going off to college, into the military, or straight into the workforce, I ask that you remember these things. Strive to do your best in all situations, 
even when you hate it. Find something that makes you happy and do it forever. Work hard to reach your goals in life, but never sacrifice your health and happiness for them. You are far too important for that. When you reach those goals, remember to thank everyone who made it possible and give God glory in all situations in life, good or bad. You never know when there will be a blessing in disguise. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Goodbye, farewell, and amen. Congratulations, Aaron. I'll try to be as brief as I can. First of all, to the class of 2017, I want you guys to know that you have been a very enjoyable and a fun group to work with over the past five years. Honeaker High School and the Honeaker community is a better place because of your hard work and your dedication. This year, after our Veterans Day uh, ceremony, I actually had one of our veterans come up to me and he had tears in his eyes. And he told me just how much he appreciated what Honeaker High School and the senior class was doing for the veterans. And that they did not receive that, any, uh, that treatment at any of the other schools. So that really made me feel very proud that he uh, appreciated the fact that we were uh, recognizing our, our veterans. That is one of the uh, most enjoyable ceremonies that we have here at the school. It not only speaks well of our seniors, but it also speaks well of our community and our school. Monday, I received a letter in the mail from an anonymous person. I really, when I received those, I say, what, what we've done now, you know, who's gotten in trouble? But this letter was a little bit different. The letter read, Dear Ladies and Gentlemen, Recently I attended a production at the Barter Theater and I sat with students from Honeaker High School. They were the most polite, friendly, and well-dressed young men and women that I've seen in a long time. The parents, the teachers, and the principal of the school are to be commended for a job well done. Seeing these wonderful young people made my day. So guys, that really is what this is all about. It's those kind of letters that make me proud to be your principal, makes your parents proud, your teachers proud, and it should make you feel proud about yourself. You're an extraordinary group of young men and young women. I know that you guys have what it takes to be successful. This class was the first class that my wife Tamar taught in the third grade. And you guys will always hold a very special place in our hearts. It's certainly been a pleasure to have been your principal for the past five years. I certainly wish that each and every one of you have success in the years to come and that you find happiness in whatever career that you wish, wish to pursue. We love you, we're going to miss you, and God bless you. Senior class. At this time, it's time we're getting ready to award our diplomas. I'm going to ask Miss Allison Steele, our assistant principal, if she'll come forward. Miss Steele has worked in education for the past 31 years, and as I said earlier, she's retiring. And I will have to say about stuff about Allison. Allison Steele is a person who cares about children. This lady, that's her number one priority, is the kids the students. I think Ms. Steele knows more about you guys than you know about yourself. So I've been blessed to work with Ms. Steele. I've learned a lot from her and I've learned from her what's really important in education and that's the students. So at this time I'm going to ask Ms. Steele if you'll come forward. Ms. Steele. I know how you feel right now, seniors. 39 years ago, I sat where you sat. And I was anxious, I was a little nervous, I was a little sick feeling in my stomach, but I also was excited, excited for the future. And I'm excited for your future. So I'm gonna make this very brief this afternoon and say the things that I think that you need my last advice. Decide what kind of person you're gonna be. Decide how well you're going to live your life and decide how to make yourselves happy because that is important in your lives. My last words to you is always be good, be safe, be happy, 
and may God bless all of you and watch after your futures. And I thank you for being a good class. At this time, I'll ask Dr. Brown, the school board members, if they will come to the front of the table and the ushers to come forward for the awarding of the diplomas. In order to maintain the dignity of our ceremony, we ask that the audience refrain from making unnecessary noise so that each student's name can be clearly heard. Thank you. Chanel Music. <laughs> Abigail Grayson Smith. <laughs> Joshua Tyler Hill. <laughs> Dylan Coy Hoxton. <laughs> Tiffany Grace Barton. <laughs> Kiana Brooke Taylor. Lindsay Brooke Barton, Sarah Faith Sloan, Lauren Elizabeth Arms, Madison Nicole Ramsey. Savannah Amy Stillwell. <laughs> Destiny Rose Goodson. <laughs> Amanda Paige Stiltner. <laughs> Emily Brianna Price. <laughs> Courtney J. Hale. Megan Nicole Taylor. <laughs> Caitlin Nicole Richardson. <laughs> Kelly Hope Hess. <laughs> Tara Danielle Deal. <laughs> Dixie Shay Adams. Elizabeth Martin. <laughs> Tierra Danielle Thompson. <laughs> Megan Brooke Harris. <laughs> Allison Kelly Brooke Lowe. <laughs> Morgan Taylor Reynolds. Layton Sean Parrott. <laughs> Devin Dakota Helton. <laughs> Matthew Austin Limplin. <laughs> Hunter Jennings Short. <laughs> Amber Rose Miller.
problem. Their page is down. Nathan Allen Baldwin. Aaron Corey Heredia. Lakin Sierra Brewer Hubbard. Anna Elizabeth Ashley. Santana Cheyenne Boyd. Chastity Brooke White, <laughs> Bethany Nicole Gibson, <laughs> Dakota Chandler Hart, <laughs> Alec Chandler Anderson, <laughs> Joshua Caleb Perkins. Nicole Lester, Aaron Elizabeth Taylor, Hannah Nicole Holloway, Madison Danielle Hubbard, Kelly Nicole Wallace.
Ann, Elizabeth, Harris. Lauren, Elizabeth, Hart. Keisha, Dawn, Hill. Alicia, Brooke, Music. Alyssa, Shantae, Stiltner. Stephen, Shaw, Clifton. Nathaniel, George, Taylor. Christian, Daniel, Davis. John, Lee, Vance. Mason, Alexander, Dye. Kiana Hope Roman. Alexis Shay Vance. Alyssa Brooke Dye. Courtney Megan Honecker. Marie Bostic. Anna Marie Bostic. Sydney Catherine Music. Jordan Connor Stout. Anthony Mason Phillips. Blake Eaton. Jessica Nicole Robinson. Kristen Beth Dillon. Haley Beth Dye. Catherine Hope Grimmett. Brian Alexander Stevens. Victoria Marie Owens. Bryce 
Allison, Wayne, Vance. Hunter, Blake, Wilson. Matthew, Justin, Tiller. Rex, Alan, Smith, Jr. Brandon Lee Miller Anthony Roland Lester Caden Sam Lester
Y'all didn't hit it hard enough, guys. Come on, you must do better than that. Let's go. Okay, guys, as I conclude our ceremony, I'm going to ask that the audience please remain in your seats until the seniors have left the gymnasium. Will the ushers please come forward? Will the seniors please stand at this time? Congratulations, guys, by the authority given to me in the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Russell County School Board, I declare you 2017 graduates of Honecker High School. Thank you. 